Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to look at a brand new 2015 Newmar Dutch Star. And this is the 4018 floor plan, so a 40 footer, 4018. Um, the paint job on this, the first thing we'll talk about, this is a custom paint job. We had them change uh, one of their designs a little bit, tweaked it. Um, so you won't see this exact paint job on any other coaches unless somebody happened to come up with the same idea we did or copy us, which that's happened before too. But anyway, um, this should be unique to uh, Mount Comfort RV. So we hope you love the paint. Um, We'll go around some compartments and everything on the outside. I want to get you some good details. Um, and of course, at any time you have questions, uh, the phone number uh, is right there. Give us a call. So give me a second. Let's take a look here. First of all, we're going to have dual fuel fill. Okay. Um, so regardless of which side of the pump you're on, you can easily get to it. Um, all aluminum wheels on this coach. We option this in with the pullouts uh, freezer. Now this freezer is nice. Uh, a lot of the models you see out there don't pull out as far as this one does. This is, if your slides were closed, this is nice here, but most of them don't pull out any farther than this. The nice part about the new Mar one is even if this slide room were open, there's still plenty of room to get to this freezer. This is uh, actually a refrigerator or a freezer, either one, depending on how you want to set it up. And uh, it runs off of either 12 volt or 110 volts. So um, this will work just fine going down the road. get to some nice belly storage here. This is a full pass-through tray that slides out either side, which makes it very nice. They're very easy to operate. You really can't get much easier than that. This, this bay we optioned in the half tray, not quite as deep, and this one obviously only pulls out this side, but uh, very easy to get to those items in there. Behind this door, now most manufacturers don't even put a door here. You can't open this compartment up because this is where most manufacturers, where your water tanks are. Well, Numar's water tanks are behind there as well, but they realize there's actually some good storage. Even if it's only about this deep, you can hang extension cords, an extra hose, tools, your choice. It all fits right there. Okay, I'm gonna close a few of these. Nice, heavily insulated slam doors. Back here, this is our DEF tank, diesel exhaust fluid. If you're not familiar with this, these videos have to be short enough um, that we can edit them somewhat quickly and get them uploaded. So I'm not gonna go into that right now. Um, for most RVers, this is much ado about nothing. If you have questions, let me know. Our batteries for the chassis are right back here and our chassis disconnect and some coach electronics. Now this coach is built on a heavy duty Freightliner chassis. Um, this is a side radiator coach, radiators over here on this side, um, which gives you great engine access, not only for checking your basics like fluid and that type of thing, uh, fluids I should say, but if you ever needed to get to a belt, you can certainly do that. Um, now this is, uh, this is a pretty big engine. This is the, the Cummins ISL. Um, that's 450 horsepower and 1250 foot pounds of mountain climbing torque. So um, it'll get you where you're going. We pull 10,000 pounds with this. All pre-wired for, for towing many, many, many different items, obviously. Beautiful rear cap. I'd love to get a shot of that. Now, as I mentioned, we do have a side radiator coach, okay? And these are many, you know, when you have a radiator, there's, there, there's radiators for not only the coolant of the engine, but also for like tranny coolers and oil coolers and stuff like that. They don't sandwich them one in front of the other. They sandwich them on top of one another with this chassis so that they all get equal amounts of good airflow. When you stack them, when you sandwich them like this, one behind the other, you don't get as good an airflow as if you stack them one on top of the other. So that's good. This little compartment here is where you keep your sewer hose. So it's not mingling with anything else. Now in this compartment, we did option in the power hose reel. As you can see, you have a whole house water filter. You've got an outside shower out here if you need to hose off before you go in, keep the sand out of your coach or just wash up when you're done playing outside. Everything's very well labeled, easy to, easy to uh, see what you need to do. Along this same line, we optioned in a 50 foot, 50 foot is a big shore power cord, um, but a 50 foot uh, power cord reel as well. 
So um, anybody who's ever tried to wrestle a 50, or it doesn't matter how big it is, a 50 amp cord, um, when it's cold weather, that's not fun. The, uh, the cord reel makes that very, very easy. Move over one compartment, we have our Oasis system here. Oasis is your hydronic heating system. Again, if you're not familiar with hydronic heating or you have questions about it, please give me a call. But the big, the keys to remember here is that will heat with electricity or diesel fuel, diesel fuel either one. So there's no need for propane on this coach. That's nice. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this is pretty much unlimited hot water. So if you wanna take a nice long 20, 30 minute shower, you can do it with, with hydronic heating. So you'll love the Oasis system. This is obviously the opposite side of our deep storage here. You can get through there and see. Now, we, we, I turned on the LED lights as well. They're like a refrigerator door. When you open the compartments, the LED lights come on. I hope those come out in the shot because it really lights up the basement very, very nice. Um, just a lot brighter than the old uh, incandescent bulbs we, we've used in the past. Um, you open these doors up at night and you can see what you, what you need to do. So you'll like that. Move forward one more. This is where the battery, is, the batteries are. Um, we have eight house batteries on a pullout tray. Very easy, again, to get to them if you ever need to service your batteries, um, check fluid levels, what have you. Um, so that makes, makes life nice. Um, with this coach, with the size of inverter it has, these are the type of battery packs that you need so that when you're going down the road, you can run your residential refrigerator going down the road. You can turn on your entertainment systems going down the road. Your outlets will be wired and ready to go. So. That's good. Uh, as I said, dual fuel fill, you got it, got it on either side. And then this compartment right here, this is mostly chassis electronics right here. You've got a little handle right here that you pull to uh, open the generator door. I've already pulled it. So let's go take a look up front. This is where the generator is. Our air horns are in here. Off to the right over there, we'll make sure we get it in the shot, that red handle that's there. Now that's something you don't normally see on a coach. Um, that is something that we actually special ordered in. That is a hot water spigot, just like your spigot on the outside of your house, only hot water instead of cold. What's really nice about that is if you're trying to get bugs off your windshield, you're trying to uh, um, clean things up front here. It's a lot easier with hot water than it is with cold water or, you know, with your wand on a stick. So hot water makes it nice and easy. Okay, let's, uh, we'll get ready to go inside here. I want to get one final shot of the side of this coach and point out something I failed to point out the first time, which is, oh, well, now there's two things. Another one just jumped to mind. First of all, your awnings are integrated into that top cap up there. Those are Gerard awnings. So if you're not familiar with Gerard awnings, you are going to love those. I'll open those up and I'll make sure we get a shot of that here in a second. Also, we have a tag axle. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Airplanes going over, coaches driving by, ambulance going by. All right. Sorry, uh, uh, recompose myself. On the side of the coach, we actually have two molded in Gerard awnings. And Gerard awnings are awesome because the entire side of this coach is awning space. Now, normally you have, I don't know, 15, 20 feet of awning. This is like probably 35 feet of awning, give or take. Um, I haven't measured it, but it's a lot. I'll open them up and we'll get a shot of that here before we're done. Um, and also that this is a 40 foot coach with a tag axle. Most coaches that are 40 feet long do not have tag axles. And I have people call me up and ask me, well, why is Newmar put that tag on there? Well, the, the better reason would probably be, why don't the other guys put a tag axle on their 40 footers? What's a tag do for you? It gives you tremendous carrying capacity, better stability going down the road. And here's what's happened from about 2007 on, these engines have just gotten heavier and heavier and heavier with all of the after treatments and all of the emissions that they've had to hit. These engines have gained weight on the 400, 450 horsepower engine here. It's gained about a uh, thousand pounds from what it weighed prior to 2007 for a very similar engine. Well, if it's a thousand pounds heavier and you don't put a tag axle back there, then that thousand pounds actually comes out of your cargo carrying capacity. Um, as RVers, we all know, we don't want to have to think about those things. With Newmar, the, if you look up the specs on this coach, the ca cargo carrying capacity is ridiculous. Um, you can load with confidence. You don't have to think, boy, how much does this item weigh that I'm putting in my coach? Um, it's not going to come into play. Take it with you if you want to take it with you. Let me open up the awnings and we'll get a shot there. We're going to pause it just for a second. All right, folks, I'm going to let the uh, Gerard awnings out. See what you think. A 
One nice part about the Gerards is I don't have to stand there and hold the button. That's nice. You do still have a little awning over the door here as well. I won't open it right now. You've seen those before, I'm sure. This is a lot of shade. Feels good, actually. Now, we're a little windy today. Um, there's actually a motion detector on these. So if they bounce up and down too much, they will turn around and go in. See how far out they come? They come down at a nice angle for water runoff as well. There is a row of LED lights that run all the way across the bottom of them. Let me see if those will come on for us. Did that get them? All right, look at that. That's really nice because you're not out here having to hang stuff from your awnings. Not that you could reach that without a ladder anyway, but a lot of these awnings used to come out at too straight of an angle. Not only would they hold water, but they were just too high to do you any good for shade. This is awesome shade because it is such a big uh, awning and it comes down at such a nice angle. Um, so anyway, enough about awnings. Let's go inside. Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Please call me if you have any questions about anything we're about to talk about. We're now on the inside of a 2015 Newmar Dutch Star 4018, 4018 floor plan. This is a popular floor plan for us. I, I think bath and a half and, and a full wall slide are always huge for us. Um, what really makes this one kind of sets it apart is the corner unit here. You've got a wonderful fireplace, TV, combination obviously that tv drops down and you get your window back that's behind it but when you want to you can pop that up um, you, you've got a, a lambright recliner chair which are very comfortable numar uses these in a lot of different uh, brands so um, or a lot of different models i should say so that's a very comfortable recliner if you've never sat in one uh, you'll have to take my word for it unless you want to come sit in it um, obviously the fireplace a lot of people really love that and then the, this desk does have some functionality as well Drop this down, you've got a little pull-out tray here. You can set a little laptop or tablet on, which is nice. Got some storage in there. And then down below, you could always do a printer or something down there. So nice, nice storage here. And this is uh, not normally found in a lot of our coaches. The other thing that really sets us apart is the sectional. Uh, this is Villa Furniture in a Dutch Star, so very high-end furniture. And this is a very comfortable spot to sit back, watch TV, converse with friends, what have you. Um, and then these two chairs both spin around and they're very much in the um, in the conversation if you will. I know in a lot of models uh, you know class A's the driver passenger seats always spin around but number one they're usually not both recliners sometimes neither of them are recliners they're certainly not usually both recliners um, and, and on a lot of floor plans they're a long way away from the conversation you know they're way up front and everybody else is kind of in the middle well with the living room if you will kind of being in the front on this coach um, these chairs are very comfortable um, and very much in the conversation so this does fold out to make a small bed here um, so it'd be like for a kid what have you or there's plenty of room for an air mattress on the floor so now we've got extra countertop space we can pull out over here there we go. Look at all your countertop space. This is an all-electric coach and we have optioned it in with the induction cooktop. If you have not cooked with induction, um, you're gonna love it. It is, uh, you have to use um, steel pans. Um, they have to be magnetic is basically the only key. So my cast iron skillet will work fine on there or any of the induction steel pans. Um, it'll boil water and nothing flat. I have one at home. They do outstanding. It's faster than gas. It's faster than electric. You'll like it nice part about the flat cooktops is they do allow for uh, quite a bit of uh, space underneath for drawers and stuff. When you have the, the oven, you, you obviously lo lose drawers, but this has a nice, uh, we'll call it a silverware drawer, and you've got the dishwasher below it. So um, makes it very nice there. You didn't have to choose between the two. Got a little drop down here. Then in the kitchen, I love that because you know the pan you want is always in the back. Okay. Solid surface undermount sink and it is a two bowl sink. One here, one here. Pull down sprayer. Okay. Then up above, not only do we have an adjustable shelf back there but we also have the pull out here. Convection microwave oven. 
it'll do both okay let's get some of the other furniture on the opposite side here we've already got the recliners but we'll come back to the dinette as well did a nice simple buffet style table and chairs here um, it's very clean look um, and, and it really keeps your aisle open when you're going down the road even with the slides in this because it doesn't stick out to here <laughs> kind of leaves you a nice walkway through the center of the coach Maytag residential if you think if you've got an RV with a propane uh, refrigerator in it you're dreaming of having that much storage I like the LED lights too those are kind of sharp I'm gonna pull out freezer below and we have water and ice on the door this door articulates in the middle hinges in the middle if you will um, and that is to allow the door to open fully even when the slides are in once you're in here there's actually plenty of room in here and there's a lot of good storage Right. this woodwork by the way this is their natural cherry uh, this is this became an option for Dutch star this year previously it was only found in mountain air on up so this this is a cherry basically in its natural color um, it will darken a little over time as cherry does and you've got a lot of deep graining in here and and highlights of different colors that's very normal with cherry wood um, you have to appreciate that to really like this coach if you want your wood to be perfect and not a lot of grain uh, you don't want the cherry but if you appreciate the, the natural hallmarks of, of beautiful wood you'll like this okay. have a nice pantry here these are pull out they're very deep and they are adjustable so if you want to make them tall or short you can certainly do so come back through here we have two nice storage closets okay these are hanging and then six drawers below nice size Sony television We optioned in the king size bed with a sleep number. We optioned in the tile throughout the coach. So there's very little carpet in this coach. And then as I mentioned earlier, we are a bath and a half. So actually I'm gonna step out of the way. I'm just gonna let our cameraman get in there and show you around. I will step in real quickly just to show we do have residential washer dryer stackable already equipped in this coach beautiful glass shower and then in this corner back here this is storage as well we have an option in the safe and there is a leaf for the table back there so your table can get a little bigger. All right. Well, I think that about does it. There's so much to talk about with Newmar coaches. I never, uh, never really know when, when to stop, but uh, the, the longer I go, the more he has to edit and upload later. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Please, number one, ask for me. Okay, number two, call me if you have any questions. And uh, I hope to see you soon. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for watching.